given question a cylinder of mass m and radius r is suspended from a cord which is inextensible determine the frequency of vibration of the cylinder let us understand given diagram cylinder is connected to an inextensible cord which is fixed at one end while the other end is connected to the spring with stiffness k mass of the cylinder is m and radius r and we have to find out the natural frequency for this given system we are going to solve this problem by using energy method so total energy u is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy which is equal to constant now we will first find out the kinetic energy as well as potential energy in the system so if we draw this diagram then here is the center o and we will select one point on the circumference that is a now we have to consider the mass of the cylinder now when the dis this cylinder is getting displaced in downward direction through a distance x then here the position of o will become the position of o dash now we will consider one new point that is the point c where this inextensible cord is connected to the spring with stiffness k now we have to find out what is the position of this point c after the cylinder is getting displaced through a distance x now if we observe this system this cord is given in extensible that means this cord is not elastic so when this o will displace that is the center of the cylinder is displaced through a distance x that is the linear displacement is taking place at the same time the cylinder will ro rotate along this inextensible cord and that's why there is angular displacement now here is the position of this point a so when the cylinder rotate along this cord then we have to show the new location of this point a so i will show here so it will rotate through an angle theta so here is the new position that is a dash so linear displacement as well as rotational displacement is taking place now this rotation is taking place along this inextensible cord one end of the cord is fixed and this other end is connected to the spring so there is the deflection in the spring and this deflection we will consider as a delta so how much amount that is this point c will be getting displaced so we will consider this is the original position so we will draw here the diagram after this cylinder is getting displaced through a distance x so here is the original position of this point c and this because of the spring is getting stretched here is the new position of the point c that is c dash and this total displacement delta which is equal to 2x because this end is fixed and the cylinder is getting rotated along this string so this point c will move to the c dash by the amount delta is equal to 2x now here is the rotational displacement theta that is also taking place now we will make here one construction from the a dash i will draw here one perpendicular line on this o to a so this is the vertical line now this point of intersection i will say b now this vertical line that is a dash to b is also equal to x and we know that this o to a dash because a dash is the point on the circumference this is the equal to radius of the cylinder that is r so from this diagram we can say that so in this triangle o b a dash we can say that x is equal to r sin theta so i will write here x is equal to r sin of theta but this theta is very small so we can write here x is equal to r theta because sin theta is equal to theta so we have to use this relation 
Now what is the linear kinetic energy? So in this system there are two types of kinetic energy. Linear kinetic energy as well as rotational kinetic energy. So we can say translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. So we will first find out kinetic energy translational. So it is because of the linear displacement of the cylinder in vertically downward direction. So we have formula half mv square. Half mv square. Now we will write this v in terms of displacement x. So how we can write here v is equal to x dot. So I we will write here half m x dot square. Now we will find out the rotational kinetic energy. So again we will find out ke rotational now instead of m we have to use mass moment of inertia i and instead of x dot we have to use theta dot so how we can write half i theta dot square so when we add this ke translational and ke rotational then we will get the total kinetic energy now in this uh, translational kinetic energy we can use here the relation between x and theta that is x is equal to r theta so when we put x is equal to r theta then it will become r square theta dot square because x dot is equal to theta dot so again we will write here so i will write here only that is half k translational is equal to half m as it is and instead of x dot we will write r theta dot so bracket square that is r square theta dot square so we have to use these two, two formulas that is we have to convert this x in terms of theta so here is half m r square theta dot square then a half i theta dot square so this is about the kinetic energy now we will move to the potential energy so the potential energy in this system because the restoring force of the spring with stiffness k. So how to find out the potential energy? So we have formula. Potential energy in the spring is equal to stiffness k multiplied by the deflection in the spring square. So for this system if the stiffness is k and deflection is delta then potential energy we will write here as potential energy is equal to half multiplied by k multiplied by delta square now what is the value of delta delta is equal to 2x so we have to use put here 2x bracket square that means we will write here half k that is a 4x square 4x square. So if we simplify this then we will get 2kx square. Now again we will put the value of x. x is equal to r theta. So we have to convert all these terms into theta. So how we can write here. So potential energy is equal to 2k. Now instead of x square we will use r square theta square. So this is the formula that is the final formula potential energy we have to use in the formula. Now we will put the values of kinetic energy and potential energy in the equation of total energy. So total energy U is equal to now Ke translational that is translational kinetic energy half m r square theta dot square. Now rotational kinetic energy plus half i theta dot square plus potential energy that is 2k r square theta square now if we observe these two terms then theta dot square and half is the common term so we will take outside the bracket so half in the bracket m r square plus i bracket complete theta dot square plus 2k r square theta square as it is now we will differentiate this equation with respect to t now we have to find out which are the variables and which are the constant terms. So here this total energy is always equal to constant. Now in this equation theta dot and theta. These two are the variables and this varies with respect to time t. Where this m as well as r 
then this k are the constant terms so we have to keep as it is so we will differentiate this du by dt is equal to now this half mr square plus i as it is now if we differentiate this theta dot square then 2 theta dot theta double dot plus now 2k r square as it is now we will differentiate theta square that is 2 theta theta dot now what is this theta dot so theta dot is equal to d theta by dt and theta double dot d square theta by dt square so here is the constant so constant when we differentiate this constant then a is equal to 0 so right hand side is 0 now again we will simplify this so if we observe this 2 2 is getting cancelled now here theta dot is also the common term so when we take this common and transfer to the right hand side then it will become 0 so when we differentiate then mr square plus i so i is the mass moment of inertia and this i is equal to mr square by 2 and we have to put this value bracket complete theta double dot plus 4 here 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 k r square theta because this theta dot is getting cancelled we have transferred to the right hand side now again we will simplify this so here 3 m r square by 2 theta double dot plus 4 k r square theta is equal to 0 now we have to divide by the coefficient of theta double dot for whole this equation so how to uh, if we simplify this then theta double dot plus now 4 into 2 because this 2 will move in the numerator k r square divided by 3 m r square theta is equal to 0. Now here r square r square is getting cancelled. So again we will write here theta double dot plus 8 k by 3 m theta is equal to 0. Now we will uh, equate this equation with x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0. Now x double dot linear acceleration, theta double dot angular acceleration, x linear displacement, theta angular displacement. So we can write here omega n is equal to under root of 8k by 3m. So what is the equation for fn? So fn we have the formula in terms of omega n that is omega n by 2 pi. So I will write here 1 by 2 pi under root of 8k by 3m. So this is the final answer.